Hey there, Calgary FC fans. I'm Anthony Novak, forward. I know this is one of the more spicier journeys that we're about to endure on, but I can't wait to start it. All that I can hope for is that I bring goals, trophies, and uh, we can only continue that going forward. When I was put in touch with Tommy, we had some really, really good conversations. He's a coach and, and a man um, that has his own way of doing things, and uh, it can be a bit out there. We relate on that aspect. I can I can be the same way. We have uh, similar uh, home situations, and when we spoke initially, the conversation was not just uh, not just football related, but it was it was about everything. I was not only intrigued but uh, instantly excited. The fans will have had some kind of taste of me being something along the lines of a guy that you know you want on your team but not necessarily a guy that you want to play against or a guy that that is necessarily you know well liked by all the other teams and fan bases as a striker obviously you want to be scoring goals um, but one of the phrases that always sticks with me is hard work equals goals when i put you know my my blue collar out there first everything else comes as like second nature I can tell you exactly who it was from my mom. She said, do the right thing when nobody's watching. That's the best piece of advice I've ever received hands down. I've always wanted to be a pro. When I finished high school, you know, that was obviously the priority and the lack of playing opportunities in Canada. I went to the States, did my schooling, got my degrees in psychology and marketing. Uh, and then I went back to play in League One Ontario. Did really well around the time the CPL was coming and I was fortunate enough to be given a chance in the CPL. You know, during that time, it uh, it became it became more challenging for me. I didn't think that maybe football was going to happen, and then I sent my application into the army, and that almost came to fruition. I did that because one, it would have been totally awesome to to serve a great country, but also because it was the next closest thing to professional sports for me. I was months away from probably getting a letter, an offer letter from the army, and you know, football took place, and I couldn't be more grateful for that. A couple of a couple of good seasons with Forge, and here we are. <laughs> Those matches are, the, are my favorite matches. You're with your teammates and you're, you're looking around and you're looking at a guy next to you and you're like, dude, we were in League One two years ago. Now we're playing CONCACAF qualifiers. And I remember playing the first time in Guatemala and the stadium was, was pretty well packed um, down, the, down the side. And the entire time it was just like, they were bombarding us and bombarding the ref, getting the opportunity to just do well and have those moments is, was super special. And I can only hope that, you know, we have an amazing season this year and we take Calgary into those qualifiers. My biggest soccer hero going out was Wayne Rooney. He's a guy who's not always known for his, his finesse and his skill, but his, you know, his hot temper, his long range strikes, you know, being able to play anywhere on the field for the team. There's also just next levels to how good he was in the things that he wasn't necessarily recognized for, right? But the one thing like he always brought was like heart. My family, my two girls at home, my parents, because what they did for me to get to where I am is 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 next level. Even my siblings like ha ha doing their homework on the side of a soccer pitch because mom and dad were driving around everywhere. So. My family at home and, and the new family I've found now, they're, uh, they're the ones that I, uh, that I do it for. I think it's, it's something that every single footballer misses desperately because football is for the fans. Without them, I don't get to play. I don't have a job otherwise. I'm just playing in a park with my, with my friends. The concept of coming and, and playing at Spruce Meadows is really exciting. Um, obviously, having played there before, it's, it's a tough place to play, man especially when the weather gets colder too. It was freezing, it was like minus 12. I'm really excited to, to get out there, get on, get on, the, on the Spruce Meadows, on the grass pitch, um, get that place jumping. Um, I love the fact that it's a nice enclosed space and uh, the fans are, are all together and you can really pack it out despite being on the other side. Like it was, a, it was a lovely experience. You know, playing in front of fans regardless of whether they're your home fans or the away fans. It, it really, it really doesn't matter. You want people in the building. You don't want to even, you don't want to go away and, you know, be able to see the tumbleweed and hear the, the crows and stuff, you know. You, you want it jumping. Um, there's certain things that get you excited as a footballer and fans, fans are the main one. So as soon as they're back, uh, it will be the day that everybody's really celebrating, I think.